Berg said while he is not questioning the certification or competence of those elected to the Greenlick Board, he believes the construct should be more representative and is concerned that the regular shareholders may not have a say on the board. Now, the government has offered no reason or explanation as to why they considered it necessary right. to reduce the board at this particular point in time. Mm -hmm. Something must explain why they're doing it. Yeah. And if there is a good reason, a legitimate and professional reason, there is nothing wrong in sharing that with the public. Let us know what yeah. your thinking is. Burke said while he is not questioning the certification or competence of those elected to the Greenlick Board, he believes the construct should be more representative and is concerned that the regular shareholders may not have a say on the board. Historically, um, the regular ordinary members, uh, mm -hmm. shareholders I mean here, you know, about 1,300 or so in numbers, right. they have always had a say in the composition of the board mm -hmm. and uh, I believe that they were normally uh, they normally had the opportunity to select about three of the 12 members All right. if you reduce the membership to nine of the board they will no longer have <laughs> um, representation uh, yeah, they will no longer have the freedom or the opportunity to choose three people mm -hmm. and if the government has a 71 percent stake as the majority owner of the company it will get to the side who sits on the board. He suggested names he believes should be considered on the board. The government should be taking the lead to ensure, for example, that the Chamber of Commerce is mm -hmm. represented on such a body, that um, industry experts or people with industry experience mm -hmm. in el electricity generation and distribution right. are, are among them. You know, we have people like Clive Houston. We have people like Rodney George, you know. Mm -hmm. um, these are people who have worked in the industry for years, who know the industry, know what is involved. And there are others, yeah, mm -hmm. um, who um, may play a role. You may even decide to have somebody from outside the country who is not mm -hmm. based here, given right. the fact that boards are now meeting, um, you know, virtually in, yeah. the, in this post-COVID era. Right. You may have competent people, Grenadians and non-Grenadians, right. or you may have one or two persons sitting on your board to add value to the board. Yeah? The board was elected during the company's annual general meeting on April 29th. The other nine members of the board are Dorset Cromwell, Devon Charles, Sean Charles, Winifred Duncan Phillip, Linda George Francis, Kent Mitchell, Dwayne Noel, Kay Simon, and former, now advisor to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell, Alexandra Otwe Noel. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.